Styles here and today's video is going to be on how to grow your hair fast. So um, if you're interested in learning how to grow out your hair or if you're trying to get your hair past a certain length, then just continue to watch this video and I hope you guys find it informative. Bye. Okay, so tip number one. Um, excuse me, I am uh, eating a cough drop. My voice is just a little bit harsh. I have recorded this video at least like nine times. But we're going to move along. We're going to move along. So tip number one, what you want to do is you want to protect the style. Protecting styling is very, 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 very important. I can't stress how much protective styling is important. Now protective styling will consist of weaves, wigs, buns, braids, and natural styles. For me personally, I don't do natural styles as far as like wearing my hair out for one um i wasn't comfortable with the hair length that i was when i did try it because i i am one of those people that experience a lot of shrinkage and number two it looked a hot mess a hot mess i tried to do a wash and go and it turned into a wash and no it was a big afro but the afro had uh, residue all in it and it, it was just a mess so um, majority of the time throughout the year I wear my hair in braids, twists, uh, banner twists, things like that, a wig, a half wig, a full wig, it doesn't matter. That's typically how I wear my hair and you should too if you want to grow your hair out. Keep your hands out of your head. You messing with your hair, you're causing it to break off and whatever. Don't do that. No, no. Just protect the salad and let it go. Uh, tip number two. What you want to do is you want to moisturize. Moisturize your hair as often as needed. What works for me may not work for you. Um, your hair may have too much moisture, may have enough, not enough moisture. So you have to learn what your hair, you have to learn your hair needs and wants in order to grow it. Um, now, as far as moisturizing, what you do want to invest in, you want to get a liquid-based moisturizer, which means that it's in a liquid form. It's like watery. Number two, the second one is you want to get a cream-based moisturizer, which is basically like a thick cream. It's kind of like a lotion. So as far as the liquid-based moisturizer, when my hair is in this kind of protective style, I moisturize my hair every two to three days. I did do a video on how to properly moisturize your hair while it's in a protective style. I'll leave an annotation somewhere where you can click on it. Um, check that video out first and then just come back to this one. Now, um, as far as twists, when it comes to twists, because I am natural, meaning I am not relaxed, I use a cream to moisturize my twist because if I spray the liquid on it, it's going to revert to a curly, which I won't get the, um, long, the necessary longevity that I would like to get out of my style if I was to use a cream versus a liquid. So if you are relaxed, you can use a liquid based moisturizer when your hair is in twist, Sina Galise, Marley Twist, Savannah Twist, it doesn't matter. But if you're relaxed, I do suggest you use a cream, not a liquid based moisturizer. Now, as far as oils, I oil my scalp every three to four days. And as I said it, I do have another video um, ex um, explaining what to properly do. Now, as far as the oils, I use Jamaican black castor oil or I will use um, wild growth hair oil. Those oils are amazing. I will show a few pictures what is done for my hair and my kids' hair. Love them, love them, love them, love them. Won't switch. The only thing um, I noticed as far as the wild growth hair oil when I first started using it I noticed that I was scratching my scalp more frequently I'm not a person who scalps naturally it's just a lot anyway but I did notice that I was scratching my scalp a little bit more than normal however it wasn't a problem for me um and I just continue to use it to this day and it's a lot of youtubers that use that oil and I suggested to my clients and my clients have noticed a tremendous difference as far as their hair growth with using that oil as well Tip number three, what you want to do is you want to shampoo, condition, deep condition, and protein treatments. Um, I shampoo my hair at least once a week. Um, I do not go longer than two weeks without shampooing my hair. Um, you do need a clean scalp. That is very important. 
Now, as far as shampooing, I use a moisturizing shampoo because my hair needs a lot of moisture. With every shampoo, I do do a deep condition. I deep condition my hair every single time I shampoo it. Deep conditioning has helped my hair tremendously. It's helped my kids' hair and my clients' hair. That is a must. You must deep condition your hair. Now, as far as determining what deep conditioning you want to use, if your hair is excessively dry, use a moisturizing deep conditioner. If your hair is always breaking off and shedding, use a protein deep conditioner. Um, now, the protein gives your hair strength. Moisturizing does exactly what it says, which is moisturizing. Learn your hair and you'll know what to use. Um, now, as far as the protein, I use a protein treatment on my hair as often as needed. Typically, what I'll do is I'll use a protein treatment maybe every two months. Um, I mainly use one when I take down protective styles such as this one because I'm applying so much moisture. And I do a lot of treatments when I go to take down my hair. This style in particular, I did. I'm leaving it up for three months. So I'm going to need a moisturizing treatment. I mean, a shampoo, a really good shampoo, clarifying shampoo. I'm going to need a good deep conditioner and a protein treatment when I go to take these down. Um, but as I stated, do a protein treatment as often as needed for your hair. My hair may not react how your hair reacts. Now, as far as protein treatment, the line I use is Afrogy doesn't matter what ethnicity you are. Afrogy is a great hairline as far as protein. Um, I do recommend it tremendously. It works for all ethnicities, the Afrogy hairline. Now, um, another tip that I did as far as uh, shampooing my hair, what helped my hair grow out and what helped me maintain my hair length to this day is I apply coconut oil to my hair before every shampoo. I let the coconut oil sit for an hour if I'm in a rush or I have to go somewhere. I at least let it sit for an hour. But majority of the time, I um, prep my hair the night before I shampoo. So I'll let it sit overnight. I'll apply a shower cap or either a plastic shopping bag to my head. And I just let it sit like that. And the next day, I'll shampoo my hair with a moisturizing shampoo. Now the sulfate stuff, I don't really care about any of that because I've had sulfate shampoo, sulfate free shampoos that did not work for me. So you just need to find you a shampoo that works for you. You want to find you something that works for you. Uh, tip number four, use little to no heat on your hair. Little to no heat on your hair. I will put heat to my hair as far as like flat ironing it, maybe three to four times out of a year. Not even that. Um, I hardly blow dry my hair, but if I'm in a rush, I have to blow dry it, then I will. But as far as a flat iron, I don't hardly do it. Um, stop flat ironing your hair so much. And another tip for other ethnicities to shampoo your hair a lot. Stop shampooing your hair so much. And um, when I was in cosmetology school, I would get a lot of uh, Caucasian clients or white women. Don't, don't mean to be rude. Whatever. Um, but I would get a lot of white women that came in and they will stress to me how much how much oil produces in their hair and i will feel and it will feel like extremely greasy what's happening is you're over processing your hair by shampooing it if you slow down on the shampoo your hair will be trained and your scalp will get trained again where it doesn't need to produce so much oil you're constantly taking out the good oil that's needed and it's causing your scalp to go into overdrive where it has to keep producing the natural oil so if you must use a dry shampoo in between time um, for all ethnicities, I don't suggest shampooing your hair no more than once a week. No two times, three times, four times a week after every workout, no. Use a dry shampoo if you must. Um, number five, listen to your hair. As I stated with working in the cosmetology, not working, going into cosmetology school, um, I did branch off into color in my hair. My hair was bright red, loved it. And the thing is, I didn't need to use lightener in order to get it to that color. Now, excuse me, I know y'all ain't gonna believe me. Don't come for me, honey. But I will insert a picture. Now, the only thing I used to get my hair to that red, and it was a bright red, I mean my lips red, I mean Ronald McDonald red, 
I only use 20 volume developer. Yes, 20 volume developer worked for me. The brand I believe I was coloring with, it was either Matrix or So Color. I think it was Matrix though. Um, so I was using the Matrix line, Red Red, and I was using um, 20 volume developer. With using that, my hair started breaking off. Um, actually, it wasn't, yeah, it was breaking off a little bit, but it was shedding tremendously. I'm one of those people, I can't take color on my hair. So if you're one of those people, stop coloring your hair. Just buy some weave and color it that color. I know coloring is pretty, but if your hair can't take it and you're not willingly wanting to walk around with no hair or bald head and patches, don't do it. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. I stopped coloring my hair. The only time I color my hair now is, is blue black. And that's 10 developers. So my hair can't take no more than 10 developers. Sorry, but hey, I found other alternatives to get what I wanted. But I don't color my hair red anymore. And then anyway, it was it was very high maintenance red because you know it bleeds, um, stuff like that. That could have been one of the things by me having naturally been a brunette. And I'm not one of them people that like to see a lot of new growth. So I was on I was on my touch-ups, honey. So as far as like the bleeding and the fading, they could have played a huge part in it, but However, as I stated before, I'm not one of those people that can constantly do that. So if you're noticing a lot of shedding or breakage with when you color your hair, stop it. Your hair is telling you, I don't like this. And if you keep putting it on, you're a bad, bad person. Don't do it. Tip number six, trim as often as needed. Do not ask me, how often should I trim my hair? Everyone hair works differently. What works for me may not work for you, but if you know you got some dead ends, clip them off. It is not cute walking around with some long hair and your hair uneven. I'm one of those people, I try not to, but it's like the, the more I get into hair and love healthy and natural beautiful hair, and I don't mean just natural as far as black people, I mean natural as far as, you know, just your natural texture. And if I see somebody walking around with bad hair, I'm one of them people that be, Mm -hmm. Yeah, she knows she need to cut that. And I, I try not to start. I really do, but cut it off. Don't, don't, don't walk around with your ends bad. You know they bad. You just, you, you dragging out your process of growing your hair out. If it's bad, just cut it off. It'll grow back. That's why you gonna put that protective style on it and you never knew you cut it. Because two to three months later, it's going to be back at that length. So it won't even bother you. I had to do it. I'm, I'm sure everybody has went through that phase where they had to cut off. Um, what, they didn't want to cut it off because it was like, no, it's right here. And then it's going to be right here. But once you put the protective style on it, you will never even see it right here. Because once you got to take it down, it's boom, shaka, laka, laka, laka. It's back to here. And you're loving it. You won't notice it. So I hope you guys find this video informative. I hope it helps you out a lot. Again, this is what I use on my hair, my kids' hair, my clients' hair, and I'm sure it'll work for you. If you try it out, I'm sure it'll work. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to book me or check out my work, I am located in the St. Louis, Missouri area. Um, you can check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and right here on YouTube at Brit Brett Styles. Thank you guys. Bye.